Paris Hilton has a lot going on. She's got a new season of her reality show, Paris in Love Plus. She's an entrepreneur, a, best, a New York Times bestselling author, and of course, she is a mom. Yeah, and a few days ago, she surprised us all when she announced the birth of her second child, a beautiful baby Aww. girl. Hi, Paris. Hi, Paris. Congratulations. Thank you. Baby London. Mm -hmm. Tell us everything. <laughs> she is just a little angel, and my life just feels so complete mm. with my little baby boy my baby girl and we're just over the moon. Isn't that so funny? I feel like you've come on this show many times and each time you've come, you've been at a different chapter in your life. But this time you're happily married. You have two beautiful children. How does this kind of chapter in your life feel for you? I am loving my mom era <laughs> and I just feel like just so at peace, just so happy, just so grateful for my husband and this beautiful family and life that we're building together. And I just, I couldn't imagine anything mm -hmm. else. I'm just mm. over the moon with everything. So baby Phoenix, your mm -hmm. son mm -hmm. is 10 months. Mm -hmm. You basic, I am a twin. You yeah. basically have kids that are so close in age. Uh -huh. Does he even understand what's happening here? I think he does. I'm like, this is your baby sister, London. And he's just so gentle and sweet. And he'll put his hand out and just kind of like rub oh. her arm or her face. It's just so cute. Well, Phoenix, you surprised your entire family. And you were like, basically, here's our son, which is such a cute surprise. What about for London? Did you uh, do the same? Well, the only people who knew were obviously Carter, yeah. and my mom and my sister, but my parents did not know when it was happening. Mm -hmm. They just knew that it was going to happen. So it was the best Thanksgiving surprise ever for everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, we, uh, we the last time you were here, you wrote your memoir, mm -hmm. and you wrote about some really heartbreaking mm -hmm. things that happened when you were a teenager. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like it's changed the way you look at motherhood mm -hmm. um, at all? Definitely just now being a mom and just how protective you are. And I am just always thinking about, you know, one day when my kids are teenagers, mm -hmm. just how that's a scary thing. Yeah. So just, I don't know, just always going to yeah. be there for them. Well, I think, you know, I think a lot of people keep a secret, their trauma secret, because you feel like I can tuck it away and I can just carry it for mm -hmm. my whole life. I don't even have to say anything about it. I'll just continue and just carry this. But I think what you did, which I thought was super brave, is you decided, no, I'm not carrying it. I'm going to say it mm -hmm. out loud. So when parenting, because I think about this with my own kids, too, you want them to feel comfortable. There's not shame. And, you know, life is about just telling the truth. Yes. Is that something that you're trying to sort of impart? I know it's early, but it starts, <laughs> everything starts early, quite frankly. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely something that's very important. And mm -hmm just not holding on to shame that shouldn't be on you. It should yeah. be on the people that hurt you. And the number one rule in our house is just to have kind human beings. So oh. that's where we're raising mm. them to be. That's so mm -hmm. beautiful. Okay, so we have a little debate because mm -hmm. you posted a picture with, with Britney Spears that was taken 17 years ago. You said you, you invented the selfie. Now, Hoda <laughs> believes she invented the selfie. I hate to tell you this because I didn't want to debate it here on TV. But it must be But debated. it must be talked about. Did you really invent it? I think we did. It was before iPhone. I mean, was that with the disposable camera? Yes. Oh, well, then she did invent it. Yes. <laughs> Touche. You did. You need to get some sort of some trademark some... for that. Yeah. Seriously. It's cute to see you and Brittany together, and both of you can yes, have told your truth. Yeah, yeah. Brittany, too. Do you guys keep in touch? Um, and just tell us about your relationship. Yeah, we were actually speaking a couple days ago and planning a girls' night, so she's going to come over, and I'm just so proud of her. Her book was so incredible, and she's just so brave for coming out and telling her story, and um, it's really amazing to see so many people doing that right now and really opening up and being real. I feel like that's something that's happening. Yeah, There's definitely. a lot of memoirs, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And I think, and I do think, you know, we look back at that time, and the sexism that both of you oh. all faced is, is really outrageous. If you look at those interviews, yeah. the questions you were asked, the questions Brittany she was, was asked, asked, yeah. Do you, do you, have y'all ever discussed that? We don't talk about that in particular, yeah. but it is something that, just looking back now, I just see, and just I'm so happy things are finally changing, and just mm -hmm. people seeing how wrong it was. Yeah, you Definitely. just you just tolerated it a lot, just because that's the way it was. Yeah. Let's talk about season two yeah, of your reality show, Paris, Paris in, in Love. Love. It's out Thursday. What can we expect? It's coming out Thursday on Peacock. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited about this season. It's really just 
everything from the moment Phoenix was born oh at the gosh. hospital, taking him home and being a wife and a mom and this new chapter in my life. And I just, it's really an inside look at everything. A lot of it was filmed on an iPhone, so it's just very personal and very mm -hmm. real. I think you, it's so awesome to have that, even for yeah. just your family. Yes, you it's know? like the best home videos ever.